The spline tool felt really overwhelming the first time I clicked on it, but now a Fusion 360 project just doesn't feel complete unless I've used it. What's up guys, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Nate Hibbert. My goal is to help you guys learn Fusion 360 and hopefully it make it not feel so overwhelming. Uh, I have a background of using programs like Photoshop and Illustrator for about 10 years, uh, but jumping into Fusion 360, there's just a lot to learn. So today we're gonna be taking a look at the spline tool and why I think you should give it a try if you haven't already. So jumping right into Fusion 360, we are gonna be taking a look at the spline tool. And I've set up two different examples for us to take a look at. Let's go ahead and start with the fit point spline tool. You can see that we've We've got an outline of a turkey here, which might seem a little random, uh, but I think this is a good way to wrap our heads around uh, the type of detail that you can get with these spine tools. Uh, but I did not draw this turkey from my memory. I actually draw in, or I brought in a canvas uh, of this image so I could make these lines around this turkey uh, and then be able to bring this into the third dimension. So the way that I was able to do this is if I go into edit this sketch, I go up here to our create tab, go to spline, which is just a couple down from arc and the fit point spline. And that will give me this tool, which allows me to uh, place these dots. And once I click on these dots, you're gonna see, or if I click on the line rather, you're gonna see all the different points that I can change. Uh, so that might be a little overwhelming. So just click on this one for now. Uh, and you can see wherever we click our mouse and add a spline tool, it's going to give us this center point and then two handles that will allow us to change uh, the arc of of where these lines are going. So I'm not gonna make you sit here and watch me retrace this out again, uh, but if we wanna do the front of this turkey again, I can delete out some of these spline points just by clicking on them and hitting the delete key on my keyboard. And I can add some spline points back by right clicking on the spline line and say insert spline fit points. Uh, and that will give me a tool which allows me to re-add some spline points to here. So I'll just go ahead and add three back. I'm gonna hit the escape cool and then I'm going to drag these points to the general area where I want them to be. Uh, and then I can fine tune them with those handles that will appear once I actually click on these points. So you can see this line doesn't quite follow the curvature of the front of this turkey here. But if I do click here, I can get these handles back uh, and that will give me control once again over this line, uh, being able to make it a little bit more precise. So I can click this one, I can drag it better into position once I'm zoomed in closer. And again, I can use these handles uh, to really create a more precise outline. So I drag this last one in place. And again, using these handles, uh, can drag them closer together to make them a tighter uh, circle or farther apart to make them a little bit wider of a circle. And that just gives me a lot of control and the ability to outline things like this. Now, if you wanna know one, how I got this image of a turkey inside of Fusion 360, I'll show that at the end. And if you're like me and coming from a graphic design background, uh, you can actually use tools like Adobe Illustrator and other vector-based programs to actually bring in an SVG file um, that is similar to using this flying tool um, but allows you to do it in a program that you're more comfortable like I am in Illustrator. But I'm going to show that at the end and the next thing that I want to talk about is the other type of spline tool which is the control point spline. And this is one I've been finding myself using more and more just because it allows me to be very exact with my measurements. Uh, so if I use my uh, dimensions tool again here or hotkey D I can bring out the exact measurements that I have for each one of these lines. Um, and see that I'm able to be very precise with my measurements. Uh, you know, if this is something that I'm trying to make fit in a certain area. But if I needed the inside or I just wanted the inside to be rounded, then the, the control point spline uh, is really a great tool for that. And so we can go up to create that same spline pop out menu here uh, and the control spline point. If we click that, then we can just go ahead and click each one of these points. And as I'm clicking them, you can see that it's drawing this line out for me. Uh, so I'm not having to do any measuring or bring in any type of other arc. Uh, it's just allowing me to have that arc perfectly outlined just by clicking on these precisely measured points. So this is great for those finishing curves on some of your projects that you need to be very precise. And I did promise that I'd show you how to import those SVG files. So if we zoom back in here on our turkey, uh, it's very simple to import several different types of images to Fusion 360, but they all start with this insert menu here. So if you click this insert dropdown, you can see that you can insert decals, which will be uh, you know PNGs or even JPEGs that you wanna put on your products or your designs after they're done. Uh, and Canvas is the one that I used for this turkey, uh, but you can also use the SVG uh, to bring in the actual vector points from something like Illustrator. So if I click on SVG and then go to this open file over here, 
you can see I've got my Turkey SVG saved already. And after I hit open, I just have to select a plane that I would like that to be put on. Uh, so it moved it all the way up here. But if I drag this down to the Turkey over here and resize it a little bit, you can see uh, that I have a little bit more precise of a line that I've created inside of Adobe Illustrator uh, rather than using the splines. And the last thing that I'll say about this is when these are entered into Fusion 360, they do come in locked. So if you highlight them uh, and hit this constraints button, the fix unfix button here, uh, you'll see that all those lines turn to blue, which now means you can actually uh, do certain things with this design, like create an outline if you need to by hitting the O key. Uh, but I can cover more on this if you guys would like. You can just let me know in the comments below and I can create a whole video dedicated to uh, how I'm using these graphics and some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. If you are interested in a 3D printing, you can check the description down below. I'll always have additional information in there. If you'd like to learn more about the tools inside of Fusion 360, you can click this playlist here. But until the next video, I will see you guys around.